Victor Zetok, as uh, Joachim told us, is uh, about on the, the regulation of rivers. And uh, I will speak, in fact, mainly about uh, hyperbolic systems. And we will see that they can be used for many applications, including regulation of rivers. So the outline of the talk is here. First, I present some examples of 1D hyperbolic system. Then I will speak about uh, stabilization of 1D hyperbolic system without source term. And finally, I will move to the case where there are source terms. Examples of hyperbolic systems, there are really plenty. And the main application that I'm going to present today is about the regulation of rivers. And here, this is a picture of the river uh, L'Assemble in Belgium. And now we see a map. And below the map, there is this number one, two, three, four, five. These are the gates. And this is the place where we are going to use the control. And the, the part which is between two gates is called the pool. It's called a pool. And now I'm going to give the, the equations. So we are going to use the Savonin equation. In this model, we denote by h of t and x the height of the water at time t and position x. And in this model, we the same the points which are on the same vertical have almost the same horizontal velocity, which is denoted v of by v of t and x. And the Savonin equation are uh, due to Savonin. He found it uh, in. Uh, 1871, and the important point is on the right, because usually one says that uh, when you are more than 50, you cannot do something which is really interesting in science. And he found his uh, laws when he was 74, something that I found very encouraging. So the equations, there are two. The first equation, this is the conservation of mass, the partial derivative with respect to T of the eight, so this is dthj, j is the index of the pool, plus the derivative with respect to x of what is called the flow rate, which is the product of h and v, is equal to zero. This is the first equation. And the second equation is the conservation of momentum, the partial derivative with respect to time of the velocity, plus the derivative of uh, with respect to x of g times h plus v squared divided by two is equal to zero and G is a gravitational constant. So we can put it in a more compact form. We, we let Y equal HV, this is a, a column vectors, and then the equation can be written as YT plus A of Y, YX equals zero, where YT is a 